Hello YouTube and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and in today's project we've got a 2016 Ford Focus 1.5 diesel that's got its charging light on. So without further ado let's confirm the fault and let's go and get this fixed. So as always and as you know by now I'm going to confirm the fault and as you can see the engine's running and the alternator battery warning light is clearly indicated. Uh, the battery was flat when I got to it, I did have to jump start it off. So let's have a quick inspection underneath the bonnet and let's go read some fault codes and let's see what we can find. Okay so we're looking underneath the bonnet now and as you can see in between those two pipes there we've got a shiny brand new alternator. Uh, I've just spoken to the customer and it also does say on the job sheet as well that he's had it locally to a little garage they fitted a new alternator to it took it back the next day because the light came back on again and they fitted a, what, another alternator as well so now it's been referred to us um, hoping that we can fix it so let's go read some fault codes let's see what we've got and carry on right so just for speed and ease I'm going to use Forescan and straight away we've got some fault codes in the engine there so let's see what we've got system voltage too low understandable I've had to jump start it off lost communication with the generator that's the alternator lost communication with the active grill shutter module A lost communication with the generator A control module system voltage low and power relay de-energised too early which is also indicative of a, a flat battery so it looks like we've got some communication issues um, probably a lot of you know where the problem lies pretty certain that I do but not everybody does so just going to confirm that the alternator is charging or whether it's not charging and then I think we're going to have to um, have a get the scope out and see what we can find see if there's any uh, LIN communication issues what I'll do I'll go and test the charging rate voltage and the amperage and then we're going to get the scope out and scope the LIN So I've got the engine running, I've got my meter connected to the battery and I've also got an amps clamp as you can see hopefully there it's charging at 32, 35 amps roughly and also 14 volts the alternator light is on um, so although the alternator is charging the smart charge or the battery energy, energy management system isn't working correctly so let's get the scope out, let's have a quick look at the LIN signal. So as you can see from this screen capture of the LIN signal, we've clearly got a bit of a problem. Admittedly, yes, I've got the time base a little bit wrong, but it doesn't detract from the fact that we're uh, missing approximately around about 8 volts. So we've got some resistance, I'm pretty certain, and that's why we've also got the fault for the active grill shutter, which is also on the same... Um, on the same line as we've seen on the wiring diagram so let's get it stripped down and let's see if we can find any green crusties right so we've proven that the alternator is charging it's gone into its default mode because it's got a communication issue which is just the same as if you unplug it raise the revs it will start charging as a normal alternator um, we also know by the fact it's charging that the feed to the alternator is okay uh, we've proven that the LIN signal looks as though it's got some sort of resistance in there and we've also got a fault code for the active grill shutter. Delete the fault code and it does come straight back again. So what I'm going to do now is remove the front bumper and have a look at the wiring. There's no access to it without taking the bumper off. Okay, so we've got the front bumper off. Not too much of an issue, but it did show signs that this vehicle has had some sort of impact at some point. One of the headlights is broken and there's a few self tappers here and there and cable ties so on removing the bumper the first thing I did notice was this um, multi-plug here it was just dangling not secured to anything a little bit of red tape which is not genuine factory tape and if you can see here we've got a little bit of green crusties going on just there so what we need to do need to confirm that that is the LIN wire to start with and strip it back get it repaired and hopefully we've got a fix 
Okay, so I've removed the red tape to expose a previous repair. Not a very good one at that. This middle wire here, the blue and the brown, is our LIN signal wire. That's the one that's got the green crusties on it. I'd imagine if I pull that red tape off, it's just gonna break. In fact, let's have a look now. Try and do it one-handed. So yeah, we've got bare exposed wires there. Bit of green crusties going on. So I'm gonna take the red tape off, put the camera down, take the red tape off, see what we've got. I'm probably gonna have to chop this multi-plug out and do the best repair I possibly can. So I've peeled the red tape off to expose three wires that have been poorly repaired and the middle one, the lin wire, snapped whilst I was taking the red tape off. So I'm just gonna bear the wire back, connect the scope to it, make sure I've got a decent lin signal. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna chop that multi-plug out and join the three wires together with some waterproof crimp terminals. Okay, so I've got the scope connected up there and as you can see on the scope trace, I've got a nice LIN signal there. So I'm now just gonna transfer the scope lead to the alternator and see if we've got a scope trace there that's um, the same as what we've got on the active grill shutter connection. If we have, then I'm happy with that and I'm gonna just do a, a bypass join on that connector and build it back up and we'll call it a fix. So as you can see, I'm now in back probed into the alternator LIN signal wire, just with an extension cable connected up to the scope. And as you can see by the scope trace, I've got a lovely trace there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna now, as I said, bypass that multi-plug, make a good joint out of it, make it all weatherproof, build it back up. Okay, so I've joined the, the wires together, I've cut the multi-plug out, joined all three, as you could see, loomed it all back up, made it all weatherproof, secured the multi-plug because it was just floating around. So we're gonna get it built back up now, see if the fault codes will de delete and see if the alternator light goes out and then we can call it a fix. Right, so we've connected four scan back up and what we're gonna do now is gonna go in and delete the fault codes, start the engine up, and see if any of them come back. So let's just press delete. Go and turn the ignition off and on again. So now I'll start the engine up and see if any of them come straight back again. Okay, so the fault code is still there. Um, I've still got the scope connected to the LIN. The engine is running. So we do have a, a decent LIN trace there. So it's looking like the new alternator that they've fitted, which isn't a genuine item, is a faulty item. So let's see if he wants us to replace his alternator or whether he's going to take it back to the garage.